just cherish the time that they have because um, you, you never know. You never know when, when it's their time. And uh, to just, just love and be there as much as possible. On Friday, Noah went from trunk or treating at a church to being on life support in the hospital. While crossing the street, the sixth grader was hit by an SUV. Anybody will tell you that, that Noah's personality was just amazing. He'd make you laugh. It, you know, he'd make you just cry because it, how could a boy be so, so beautiful inside and out? Um, and there are things that's going to carry on with my kids, my other kids. I see Noah shine. I see his spirit shine through my other kids. On Sunday, doctors determined there was no brain activity. Uh, when they were talking about the uh, donor, being a donor, he, um, I, me and his mother didn't hesitate. Uh, we didn't hesitate because I would, I would not want any, any parent have to go through this. It is the worst pain. You think you've been hurt, but this is the worst pain a, a human could feel. Through Noah's tragic death, his father Robert says his son is able to save seven other children. Everything happens for a reason, and I feel like he was meant to go and meant to save other lives. Robert says Noah will receive a plaque at the hospital for being a donor, and the family will get to meet the children Noah helps. Do you plan on doing that? Oh, yes, of course. Um, just to know that I can look at them and, and tell them that I love them and that, you know, they might not know me, but um, there was a child that, that loved them unconditionally.